Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing a really delicious, quick, simple dessert recipe, and I'm gonna be sharing my recipe for this rice flour laddu. Now, if you guys wanna see how I put this together, please keep on watching, and you guys are in for a treat because it was so simple to put together, very delicious, and this would be perfect for this Navratri season where we need to be making lots of different sweets. We might need to make something for a puja to share with family and friends, or whatever the case may be definitely give it a try. So before I get into the video, I have to go ahead and give a big shout out to Pandit Kesh over at Pooja Mall for sponsoring this awesome outfit that you see that I'm wearing today. This right here is a kurta top or a sherwani top and then it has a nice vest to go over it. And as you all can see, the vest is nice and embroidered everywhere. One of my favorite outfits that he sponsored for this set of videos that I've been doing for Navratri. I'm really impressed with the quality of his products. These um, vests and these kurtas and sherwanis they're very thick but at the same time they are cool enough for people to wear and be comfortable in. If you guys want to go ahead and visit Pooja Mall they're located at 126 16 111 Avenue in South Ozone Park New York and of course I'll leave the phone number right here in the description box down below just click below the video a drop down menu will appear and you'll see everything and of course follow me on my social media so you can see all of my postings with these outfits and I will also have the store's information there. When you guys go ahead and visit Pooja Mall or you give Pandekesh a call, make sure you tell them that Matthew's Guyanese Cooking sent you, just so this way they know you guys have been watching my videos and paying attention to everything. So with all of that said, let's get into the recipe and let's get this delicious rice ladu going. All right, everyone, so the first thing that we're gonna do to make this rice ladu is to start by making the milk mixture or the pog that we're gonna be adding into it later on. So in my little pod here, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my milk and I'm also adding in my sugar. You can use evaporated or whole milk and you can also use granulated or brown sugar. I'm also gonna go ahead and add in some ground cardamom or elaichi. If you wanted to add in some fresh cinnamon or some nutmeg, feel free to do that as well, but I'm just adding in the elaichi today. So we're just gonna have that milk mixture on the side on a low heat and we're gonna let it get nice and warm so this way we can add it in later. At this point into my heavy bottom pot I'm gonna go ahead and add in some ghee and I'm gonna let this melt. If you guys are interested in purchasing one of these beautiful red caldero or karahi pots you can go ahead and check out the link that I have linked in the description box right below this video. This pot right here is courtesy of Victoria Cast Iron Products. That's where you guys always see I'm getting my cast iron woks and everything from. But of course, they sell these non-stick caldero pots as well. These right here are perfect when you're making sweets like this because they do not stick. And once that ghee melts very well, we're going to go ahead and add in our rice. Now, if you wanted to, you can use rice flour or you can use the crushed rice that you get from the Indian store. I'm using the crushed rice today because I like that texture that it gives. But of course, if you wanted a smoother product, you would have to use the finer rice flour. Once we add the crushed rice into the ghee, we're also going to go ahead and add in some more fresh cardamom or elaichi. Again, if you wanted to add in some other spices, feel free to do that as well. And at this point, I'm going to keep on mixing and parching this until it's a nice golden color. Now, we're not going to make this too brown. I still want to keep it nice and light in color because it is rice flour that we're using. So it's been about 10 minutes at this point. And as you all can see, we've gotten a very light golden brown color. And this is exactly what we want. So I've raised my heat to the highest heat possible. And at this point, I'm going to start to stream in that milk mixture little by little. I like to do this a little at a time. So this way, the milk mixture can have a chance to absorb into the rice flour. And then we can keep on adding in more and see how much it will take. And my biggest tip for this step in the process is that you have to keep the heat on a very high heat. So this way, every time you add the milk in, it'll evaporate very well. If you leave it on a low heat, it's gonna take forever to cook and it's not gonna come together very well. So this is what the mixture is gonna look like once you've added in all of that milk mixture and you let it evaporate very well. You want a nice, soft, fluffy, and a little bit crumbly mixture. Remember, this is gonna cool down a little bit and we're gonna roll it into the ball so it's gonna come together very well. So once you take this mixture off of the stove, you're gonna see that it gets nice and crumbly as it cools down. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna drizzle on a little bit of condensed milk. Now, of course, you could have added in the condensed milk earlier, but I like to add it in at this step because it really adds a nice little creaminess and it makes the texture nice and soft when you mix it together. And this right here is optional, but I like to go in with some roasted ground almonds. Of course, if you wanted to do pistachios, crushed peanuts, any other kind of nut, or if you wanted to add in some chopped cherries or some chopped raisins, 
you can also do that as well. And like I said, we're adding in these ingredients once the mixture is cool to the touch or warm to the touch. And I'm just gonna go in with my clean hands and I'm gonna mix this up very well until the condensed milk and the nuts are mixed in properly. Once I've mixed in all of my ingredients and it's nice and warm, I'm gonna go ahead and take a little handful of my mixture. I'm gonna roll it in between my hands until I get a nice smooth ball, exactly how a ladu is supposed to look. And remember, as these cool, they're gonna get a little drier, they're gonna get a little more crumbly. So by the time you're ready to serve them, you're gonna have such a beautiful, crumbly texture when you're eating the ladu. And this right here is the finished product. As you can see, this is the amount of ladus that I got and they're a really nice size. If you wanted to make them smaller, if you're making it for a lot of people and you're making other sweets, definitely do that. But this is the finished product and they were super, super delicious. So I hope you all enjoyed this video today. I hope I made it as simple as possible for each and every one of you to follow along at home. Definitely give this recipe a try for this Navratri season. It was delicious, it was easy, it was quick. And it's just a nice little sweet treat to eat by yourself, maybe with a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, or share with your family and friends. And once again, big shout out to Pandit Kesh over at Pooja Mall for this awesome outfit and all my other outfits that you've been seeing in this little Navratri series that I've been doing with all of the sweets. And if you guys want to check them out, they're located at 126 16 111th Avenue in South Ozone Park, New York. I'll leave the phone number right here in the description box down below. Check my social media for all of their information as well. And definitely check them out for all of your outfit needs, your puja item needs, and whatnot. If you all enjoyed this video today, please don't forget to give it a nice big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel by clicking the red subscribe button. And of course, go ahead and click that bell notification icon so this way you don't miss out on any of my newest videos and you're notified as soon as they're uploaded. And of course, drop those comments down below. Let me know what you'd like to see next or maybe what you thought of this recipe as well. And I'll be sharing another recipe very soon. Bye everyone.